Hi. Where's Bruce? Bruce, Bruce. Hi, bud. Baker, are those your buddies? Are those your buddies? As you can see, we have house guests. My best friend's dogs have been staying with us since Christmas Eve, and they leave Saturday at some point. Um, I forget what kind they are. I wanna say Yorkies, but um, I'm not sure that that's true. They're very cute. Their names are Finn and Bruce. Yeah, they're adorable. A handful, but adorable. And very welcomed here. Except one being in this household does not appreciate them too much. Not, as you can guess, is this cutie pie who's very content just to stay in bed all day <laughs> are you mad that i brought the devils into the house they'll survive baby they're gonna leave soon we had to make some arrangements for for louie while they were here like put up a gate when they're out of their kennels and then Louie's litter box is in the bathroom <laughs> until these little monkeys leave. But overall, he's doing good. I've just been making sure to give him a lot of attention so he doesn't get very stressed out. Hi, Bruce. Hi, Brucey. What are you doing? Hi, Finny. Hi, Finny. a few weeks since I put out a video. I've just been enjoying a much slower pace as I feel into some changes I'm making in my life right now. A little out with the old and in with the new I guess even though I'm not much into New Year's resolutions. I feel like I'm the type of person that is always making goals all year long. However, I do love to do a special New Year's ritual which I'll show you in my next video. The holidays have come and gone and I have taken down Christmas and cleaned and done all the things. No sign of Christmas has left in my house, but some of these videos are from a few weeks ago when I tried to make a new video, but then life and big feelings took over and I just didn't have it in me. What I've been feeling and experiencing isn't so much depression as it feels like grief. Even though I feel like I have a lot of really great things on the horizon, you sometimes have to grieve the old even though you no longer feel aligned with it. So that is what I've been doing. I've been spending a lot of time alone, cooking and organizing and, and creating just to create. I haven't really worked much either. I did two small markets and those both made me feel very confident in my decision to not do them anymore. And in fact, I am really shifting the whole focus of my business in general, which I'm still working out a bit. I've also been really grieving the last year. The healing process isn't linear and as the year closes out, I just feel very reflective on 2023, the year that broke me open so much. Now I'm slowly piecing myself back together, but I'm recognizing that a lot of what I see looks a whole lot different. I 
I've been feeling my spirit and zest coming back to life and my excitement and things like DIY and furniture flipping and all the things I love to do that light me up finally do again. I'm excited to finish a lot of these projects that have been in limbo for, gosh, well, a while now. My kitchen cabinets have been unfinished since I was in the middle of chemo and I finished that eight months ago. This little brick of a snook I started well. It needs a second bench and I began tearing up the linoleum in my kitchen out of curiosity only to discover this beautiful red and tan tile. So I was just curious what was under these linoleum floors in my kitchen because parts of them have gotten wet over the years. I mean, they're hideous and need to be replaced, but um, I just started tearing at one of the corners because recently my mom and I talked about replacing the, the flooring after Christmas. So I uh, started pulling it back and look what I found. After posting it on Instagram, I learned that it was most likely vinyl tile that has asbestos in it and it totally freaked me out. Now I'm going to cover it up with new linoleum, which is fine because I want black and white checkers anyways, but it's hard to not feel like I failed a little bit here, even if there was an incredible learning curve. I also have a bunch of other projects on the horizon and I'm excited for the winds to be shifting, which are gonna be pretty amazing and I'm excited, but letting go, well, that comes with grief, even if it's what you want. Oh man, my hair is wild these days. I'm not exactly feeling depressed, but I am I am realizing that I'm grieving a lot right now. And that is why I haven't put out another video in about two weeks, maybe even longer than that. Everything that I have been doing just kind of came to a halt and I did a few markets for the holidays and then I I stopped doing my newsletter. I just really stopped everything else that I was doing to just be quiet. And I've done a lot of relaxing, just hanging out and slowly working on some projects around the house. And I'm really trying to finish a bunch of them <laughs> uh, because, you know, once one is finished, then there's always a bunch more that um, are right behind and also planning on redoing a couple things. But I, yeah, I guess I'm just feeling a tremendous amount of grief from the last year and it's really just hit me in the last couple weeks. And so I just shut down and just been going inward more, working on my place in quiet. A lot of this grief is from the last year, going through cancer treatment and just kind of accepting all of that and all of the physical changes I have had to take on. And then a lot of it is these changes that I'm making in my personal life and business. Letting go of markets and wanting to focus on bigger projects, wanting to focus on growing this channel and more home and DIY projects. Just diving further into the things that I love doing and letting go of the things that just don't do anything for me anymore. But even though it's all good stuff, it still comes with its layers of grief. And I'm just sitting with that. I was kind of struggling with feeling like guilty because I was feeling this immense swell of emotion. And I don't know that it's necessarily depression. There were a couple days in the last month that I've definitely felt depressed, but I don't overall feel depressed, if that makes sense, I'm not sure. But I know that one thing that when I feel this way, I have to just let go of anything that doesn't bring me joy and just dive into the things that do bring me joy. So I've been, well, I took down all of Christmas. And I just am really wanting a clean and organized place going into the new year. One of my favorite traditions that I started several years ago was just being by myself on New Year's Eve and just being reflective. I love to wake up on New Year's Day feeling really good and just entering the new year on a really high note. I 
hate being hungover. I you know, spent the last week eating outside of my normal way of eating and definitely feel that um, in my joints and just in my weight and I was feeling so good so I want to get back on track with that yeah just I'm, I'm just really letting things unfold as opposed to pushing or fighting or forcing things and it feels really good and working through a lot of self-doubt worthiness issues that I can step into more of where I want to be in my life and I'm watching these little bookers <laughs> um, who are super cute. I am gonna get to work. I've taken the last few days off and so I'm gonna head out to the shop for the first time in a couple days, clean it. I'm gonna organize my project list for around here and what I will be working on. I have a really cool partnership coming up soon and I'll be starting that in the coming weeks too. I'm excited to share all this with you and I feel reignited with um, like joy in coming to this channel and creating. Definitely moving further away from the cancer stuff and really just showing more of my love of home design and home decor and my projects and, and overall just how my projects help me and my mental health struggles and even healing from cancer and they give me such a sense of purpose.